This tutorial will explain how to prepare the DVR expander when connecting to a DISH Network digital video recorder. Before you begin using the Seagate DVR, you must first connect it to the DISH Network and supply power. Follow these procedures to connect the Seagate DVR expander to a DISH Network DVR box. First connect the DVR expander to the DVR box through the USB 2.0 cable. Then, connect the AC power supply to the DVR expander and to a power outlet. The LED located on the rear of the unit will illuminate indicating the drive is powered up and ready. A message will appear on your screen stating that a USB storage device has been attached and that it will need to be reformatted. Using the remote control, select the Yes button and press the Enter button to start formatting the DVR. A message will display on the screen stating the USB storage device is currently being formatted. After a couple of minutes, another message will appear stating that an external hard drive is being formatted. Do not disturb the process by pressing any buttons on the remote control. Disturbing the formatting will stop the process and you may need to connect the DVR to a computer to reinitialize the unit. After the DVR has been formatted, the device will restart. After restarting, it can take up to five minutes for the device to acquire a satellite signal. After acquiring a signal, the DVR will display the last channel accessed prior to the DVR device restarting. To verify or start using the Seagate DVR expander, press the Menu button to display the main menu. From the main menu, select Multimedia or press the number 4 button on the remote control. To access the Seagate DVR expander from the multimedia menu, select My Media under the external USB devices or press the number 2 on the remote control. There are two menu options available for the Seagate DVR expander. They are the Manage Device and Send to Device options. You can select either of these by choosing the on-screen option or by pressing the corresponding number button on the remote control. Before you can begin using your Seagate DVR, you must first send programming to the device. To send programming to the Seagate DVR, select the Send to Device option on the My Media menu or press 2 on the remote control. A screen with a list of the programs available to send to your device will display. If you have been recording a program series, the individual episodes will be saved in a folder. After you've chosen the programs to send to your DVR, select To Archive and press the Enter button on the remote control. Then select the program you would like to send to the Seagate DVR. The archiving process status message will be displayed and you'll be advised on how long it will take to transfer the programming. During the archive process, you will have the option to view TV, stop the transfer, or view the help documentation. After the transfer, the programming which was sent to the Seagate DVR will be removed from the DVR box and no longer appear in the list. It is important to note that whenever the Seagate DVR is removed, then reconnected to another DISH Network DVR, the Seagate DVR will require reformatting and all programs will be erased. It is also important to note that a DISH DVR will not allow you to transfer programming between two DVRs. After transferring, your programming can be accessed by selecting Manage Devices from the My Media menu. The Managing Devices screen will display all the programming transferred from the DVR box to your Seagate DVR. You will have several options available on this screen such as Restore, Play, and Delete. If you want to restore a program to the DVR box, just select the program and select the Restore button. You can also select several individual programs or all the programming and send it back to the DVR box in case the Seagate DVR needs to be disconnected. The Seagate DVR can be connected to a non-DVR DISH network box that has a USB connection available and the formatting process is the same. However, you will not be able to transfer programming to the DVR extender unless you pay a fee to enable the DVR feature on the non-DVR DISH network box. Contact your DISH network provider or call DISH network support for more information on enabling this feature. This concludes the How to Prepare the DVR Expander when connecting to a DISH Network DVR tutorial. Thank you for watching.